The focus really was supposed to be on struggling students. But that focus shifted dramatically after what State Senator Marty Nolenberg said during testimony. Now, that focus remains on him. Some quick background on Nolenberg. He's a Republican representing Michigan's 13th district, lives in Troy, previously served three terms in the Michigan House before he was term limited out. Jason Colthorpe is live tonight at Mumford High School with the very latest. Jason? Senator, Senator Nolenberg told me no one blinked an eye when he said what he said yesterday because they heard everything in context, both before and afterward. However, tonight he told me he is apologizing for it. The State Senate Education Committee was hearing testimony Thursday on low-performing school districts, specifically the non-white students who are economically disadvantaged, when Senator Marty Nolenberg said this. You know, we can't fix that. We can't make an African-American white. I mean, that's just, it is what it is, so we can't fix that. I was trying to paraphrase a comment that was presented by the state uh, school reform design office, but I paraphrased it and I added a, a couple words that, that sounded a little clunky. And Those clunky words struck a nerve with a few people, especially the American Federation of Teachers. It's President David Hecker saying this, what Senator Nolenberg said about kids in struggling schools is racist and is a major step backward in improving education for our children. If a child is struggling academically, it's not because of a problem inherent to their race or ethnicity. Senator Nolenberg telling me tonight it wasn't racist, but just a poor choice of words. Now you try to put it all into context. I said a couple clunky words and for that I apologize. The controversy didn't emerge until more than a day later, leading the senator to believe certain groups are simply playing politics. It's the Democratic Party, the, the teachers unions, they recognize that they probably have an agenda behind it. The senator also saying he agrees that academic struggles are not related to race. He's also pretty disappointed the entire discussion that focused on struggling kids in these districts is now being overshadowed by one comment. On the west side, Jason Coulthorpe, Local 4. And Jason, we know he apologized. Is he standing by what he said? Sandra, he's standing by what the meaning of what he said. He just wishes he had changed what he said. Instead of saying, we can't fix that, he would rather he had said, we can't change that. All right. Sandra. Jason Colthorpe reporting live tonight. Thank you, Jason.